Adobe Illustrator has a user interface that provides a range of tools and features for creating vector graphics and designs. When you open up Illustrator, you are greeted with this welcome page. I usually jump right over to open or new file. For new files, a new document window pops up. Here you can choose a preset or enter the individual details yourself. You can name the document now or later. You can choose a different unit measurement. The most popular in the US are pixels and inches. Pixels are commonly used screen measurements and inches are for print measurements. Professional printers will want bleed measurements. Under the color mode, RGB is commonly used for screen designs and CMYK for print. For print, I usually want 300 ppi, that's pixels per inch. This is high resolution. For projects destined for the screen, 72 ppi is typically used. I don't concern myself with advanced settings unless I know up front that I'm using multiple artboards. In that case, there are additional options to choose from here. I'll go right to create document. If you want to zoom in or out of your artboard, the zoom shortcuts are Command plus and Command minus. Zoom options are also located in the status bar. If you are using a mouse with a center wheel, you can likely press down on the wheel and move the artboard around in this way. If that doesn't work, you can click on the hand tool. The cursor turns into this grabby hand thing. This is your artboard. Over here is the toolbox, your action-oriented toolbar. In a moment, I will show you how to turn this control panel up here on or off, so don't worry if you don't see it yet. Here is yet another toolbar offering shortcuts to various panels. In this large area, you will see tabs to my layers, properties, and libraries. Additional functionality can be found at the top menu bar of navigation. You can customize how your screen looks, as in where you prefer to see all of these tools and panels. To do this, go to the Window drop-down and then Workspace. I currently have Typography selected. I recommend making sure that the Control Toolbar is checked under the Window drop-down. While we are here, let's open the Swatches panel, since that is not in my workspace yet. You can place the panel anywhere, including inside a toolbar. I will add it here by hovering over until I see a blue line. Now it will stay there. I can also drag the icon and move it up or down. I see that I'm still on my hand tool, so I will switch over to the selection tool. This is a good neutral tool to be on. Take a look at the menu bar navigation. I will quickly show you the most commonly accessed features. The file drop-down menu contains a lot of important functionality. Some of the most used are new, open, close, save, export, and place. FYI, place essentially means insert image in the world of Illustrator. Under the edit drop-down, you will see your copy and paste functions. Take note where the keyboard shortcut info lives. Under the object drop-down, I use the arrange feature a lot. This is one of the ways you can move your design elements in front or in back of one another. Under view, you will see another place for zooming in and out. I personally check overprint preview a lot. It's a cleaner look when I'm creating. We're back at the window drop-down. To recap here, you can change your workspace. I go here a lot to open up panels that are not present in my chosen workspace. When you see a check mark, that means the panel is already visible. You can imagine how busy your screen would look if all of them were checked. Oh, one more thing. When you are new to Illustrator, I wouldn't worry about changing any of the Illustrator default settings, but I do want to show you this one. Go to the settings under the Illustrator dropdown. If you are not using a Mac, I think the settings are located under the Edit dropdown. If you find that your tools are just too small, you can change that here at User Interface. You can see that I have changed my scaling to medium. There's a handy preview area here. Adobe products offer multiple ways to do the same thing. Try not to be overwhelmed. Yes, there are a lot of features, but many of them are repeated in different places. 